Welcome back everybody to Make Share Daily where you go to get your daily builds and today we're going to talk about Christmas and what do we have today? A present. We have a Technic present that my son built and it is really cool and today we're talking about a kinetic sculpture. What's a kinetic sculpture? Well it's a sculpture that moves and so we've built a kinetic sculpture that is a Christmas gift and it actually opens and closes as you can see here it opens and then continues through its motion and then closes so you can see with Ralph with the overhead camera um, you can look directly into the box and see some of the components on the inside and we'll get into more of the details of how it's built as well. So it's a really cool Technic birthday gift or Christmas gift, depending on who you are. And it works very well and actually opens up the top of the gift and, and it shows what's on the inside. Now you could go further with this and actually have something come up out of the, uh, the present if you wanted to. But you just have to add a lot more gears and a lot more components on the inside. Um, and as of right now, this is what we have. So we were inspired to create our first Lego kinetic sculpture based on what we've seen from JK Brickworks. And his, his are much more fantastic than what, we, what you see here. And I highly suggest you go check out his channel. However, this is the first kinetic sculpture I've seen for a Christmas present. I haven't seen one, have you? No. Other yeah, so we haven't seen anything out there that's like this. And we wanted to step into the world of kinetic sculptures. And this was our first try. And I think we did a really good job. What do you think? I think it's good. Yeah. So let's look at the details underneath. So actually, the battery pack is out back. And if we had a bigger um, box, we would uh, integrate the battery pack. But as you can see underneath, we have, what is that motor? Uh, we, need an we have an M motor underneath. And then that goes and takes a turn and goes to a small gear, to a big gear, to medium gear, and then over to a small gear, big gear, and then a crankshaft. The crankshaft is actually connected to two arms. Let me see. The crankshaft is connected to two arms, and then those two arms are connected to the top of the box. The ribbon itself is connected to the top of the, uh, the panel here that opens, so the ribbon opens as well, splits in half. This piece here is actually just tied on um, with an inverted stud, and then it's a couple flat plates that run the length to the top and we don't have one on the back side. I wish we did, but we don't. And when you close it. So when it's closed, the thickness of the ribbon up here stands out above the box, but the ribbon coming up goes past the box as well. So it actually lines up pretty well. You can see it from the side. It, it actually looks like it's a little bit rounded and it works out really well. So the ribbon goes well with the gift and then splits when the gift is open, which is pretty cool. So the way we built the box is very simple. It's these Technic panel pieces um, bolted together with uh, two black studs and then you have these really cool angles right so you get a little piece like that and then a black stud and then that goes together and then that's your angle piece on the sides so four of those and then that will connect over to the other panel pieces and make a box for the top, it's actually just as simple. So you, we actually just put black stud in there and then that goes into that 
and then it can rotate. So very simple. It actually turned out much simpler than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was actually going to be more difficult than that. But that's the generic construction of the of the box itself. Now let's see what so let's take a look at the inside. So it's a motor that's driving this big wheel. Go ahead. Motor driving this big wheel. The big wheel is driving these two arms through a cam or a crankshaft. So it goes on the inside there's a a wheel or a crankshaft and then that's driving the two pistons up and then back down. And then those those are connected to the top of the panels and that's what that's how it works. So it's not very difficult. If you wanted to, you could replicate this as well. You just have to utilize the motor, gear it down so that it doesn't open and close too rapidly, and then um, connect it to the, a, a crankshaft that then pushes the pistons up and down, and then that opens the top of the box. If you're experienced with Lego Technic, um, this is a pretty simple build actually because it's just a motor geared down um, and then the crankshaft and then the piston arms. If you're not experienced with Lego Technics, then this might be a little difficult for you to build for the first time. However, give it a try. See what you can do. Um, maybe even just build the box out of Technics and then see if you can go further with that by adding a motor somehow and then go further with that by adding some gears. The more you step down the path of creating something complex, the more you'll learn. Since you're the main builder of this Technic build, is there any other items you want to talk about for, about the inside of this uh, this birth, uh, Christmas gift? The hardest bit was probably just trying to fit the motor in. Before I was trying to do it this way, but then I thought this way would be a bit better and that's how it is now. So horizontal to the yeah. to the base. It's very cramped of space and uh, gear reductions are kind of big. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to fit everything into the small yeah. box, right? All the gear and whatnot. So it would have been easier if you had a bigger box. Yeah. But also if you had a bigger box, then the crankshaft and the pistons would have had to be longer to open up the box as well. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's a trade-off scenario, huh? So what other things would you do to this if you wanted to take it further? Well, if you did want to make something pop out of it, you would probably use this piston and just connect something uh, down in here mm -hmm. to this piston that will come up whenever the piston comes up with the present. So just add a third piston or add a, another object to the second piston, yeah. right? So when the, when the uh, Christmas gift box goes open then you could drive something else inside out of it right yeah. like maybe like a jack-in-the-box kind of situation but in more of a Christmassy thing. yeah maybe maybe, like a Christmas tree. maybe a Christmas tree or like a Santa or a nutcracker pops out of the present uh, through dr driven by one of these pistons that would be cool huh but this is really cool too it's demonstrating that you can do a lot with a small amount of uh, Technic pieces and drive a Christmas gift that looks just like a Christmas gift in Technic form and is functional and actually opens up. I think that's a fantastic build. Um, So there you go. So there's a kinetic sculpture ready to go for Christmas. You could put this under the Christmas tree, actually keep it running throughout Christmas Day, opening and closing while you're opening and closing your Christmas gifts. Maybe opening. <laughs> right. So mostly opening your Christmas gifts. So, so that's the kinetic sculpture that we created, and we're pretty proud of it. If you think that this was a good uh, build, leave a comment down below. If you think that we could have done better, also leave a comment. We'd love to hear your suggestions on how we can improve some of our builds. And if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. We do a daily mock build each and every day for five minutes. And then we also build these bigger sculptures every once in a while. So please go and subscribe and you'll get all of your updates.
And if you go ahead and build this, please leave a picture on our social media, on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and just tag Make Share Daily, and we'll love to see any of your builds based around this design. Love to see it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.